pardon me, I'm using an unfamiliar emergency recording program on my smart telephone. Please be patient while I cycle through the available audio options in search of appropriate theme music. Okay, yes, that will work. <clears throat> Welcome to a special emergency edition of Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, the investigative journalism program, or IJP, where I ask the question, whatever happened to the pizza at McDonald's, formerly brought to you by Grandy's Homestyle Cooking. I'm your host, Brian Thompson. Earlier today, I published episode 78 of this program, wherein I attempted to spread awareness of McDonald's pizza by employing a company to write a message about pizza in the sky using a technique known as skywriting. This would be a very expensive endeavor, but I felt it was worth it, as writing a message about McDonald's pizza in the skies of Los Angeles could potentially reach an audience of several entertainment industry influencers, such as director Ron Howard, or possibly the young YouTube star who disrespected the dead in the woods of Japan. However, shortly after I published the episode, I received correspondence from the interview subject who expressed understandable concerns about revealing secrets of the skywriting trade. I removed the episode and immediately contacted the Grandis Corporation to appraise them of the situation as they would be funding the awareness campaign. Typically, I communicate with Grandis via electronic correspondence with their CEO, one Josiah P. Grandy IV. However, this method is less than timely. So, to expedite the matter, I telephoned the Grandy's corporate headquarters in Nashville, Tennessee, directly. What I learned was shocking. Not only does Grandy's not know anything about our lucrative sponsorship arrangement, but their CEO is not even Josiah P. Grandy IV. <laughs> I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. It is a gentleman named Philip M. Breifeld whose official title is Chief Executive Officer of Captain D's LLC. Captain D's is a fast food seafood chain similar to Long John Silver's, though sporting a different seaman as its mascot. The company purchased Grandy several years ago. As far as I have been able to discern from the cursory amount of research I have been able to conduct this morning, no one by the name of Grandy is involved in Grandy's management which of course raises a few questions. First, who has been corresponding with me in the guise of Josiah P. Grandy IV? The most likely suspect would be Monroe Boswell, the criminal confidence man who tricked me into believing I had joined the Panoply podcast network by posing as its CEO, a Mr. Mark Panoply. Ultimately, this grift was a blessing in disguise, as this program is now part of the Pizza at McDonald's network which has surpassed Panoply in customer satisfaction. Plus, as the Pizza at McDonald's network is not a podcast network, but is instead an audio entertainment network, this program is technically eligible for a Peabody and or a Pulitzer Prize. But what would be Monroe Boswell's motive? In the Panoply affair, he seemed to be driven by my utter humiliation. That could be the case here, except that I have been receiving money from whoever is behind the Josiah P. Grandy IV persona. The checks, as they say, have cleared. If the criminal Mr. Boswell sought again to... If the criminal Mr. Boswell sought again to throw metaphorical eggs on my literal face, why would he also provide me the funds to purchase a modest estate in the Hollywood Hills? It simply boggles the mind. It seems to me The simplest explanation is that someone, possibly within the upper echelons of the McDonald's Corporation, is sympathetic to my cause, and assumed the Josiah P. Grandy IV alias in order to fund my investigation, without exposing him or herself to the nefarious forces he or she most likely calls colleagues. Hopefully, this brave individual will find some other method to continue the effort. In the meantime, I shall refer to him or her by a non-gender specific pseudonym. Captain D. D, in this case, stands for doing the right thing. Captain D, if you are listening to this, thank you.
until Captain D finds a way to contact me again, I will have to quote unquote cover my behind by seeking other genuine sponsorship opportunities. As you may be able to hear, I am recording this emergency edition of the program, which I will call episode 78A, in the food court of my local mall. While I ponder next moves, I will try the pizza at an establishment called Sabaro. I hear that, like McDonald's pizza, it is pretty good for the price. Until we speak again, I remain your host, Brian Thompson. <laughs>